okay I've got the my stream pot for lack of a better term my experimental stream pot hooked up to my Arduino just as you can see I have a 5 volt and a ground and then the uh, wiper hooked up to an analog pin right here this one the wiper which is a yellow one uh, is on the outside um, pin on the potentiometer and then if you look I don't know how well this will do but if you look right here this is what the reading is from 0 to 123 and then I've remapped the output from 0 to 255 okay so we'll start pulling the string pot slowly and you see the output changes as we pull it and since this is a oh what would it be 8 bit I guess 10 bit whatever uh, 1024 is that's the total number and I have it remapped uh, from 0 to 255 if I wanted to use a PWM out and then I start retracting or letting the string pot retract and you see the numbers go back down so it works good and so you can see what we're doing if we had this hooked up to a, oh, a throttle cable or a control just about whatever um, it retracts itself makes it very very simple to hook up and these are typically you know hundred seventy dollars or more and this one the pot was a little bit expensive because it's a fairly decent 10 turn pot so it was about uh, I think 15 or 16 dollars something like that from DigiKey but uh, everything else I made and this is just a high test non stretch fishing line I think it's about 65 pound uh, I think it's a little bit of um, Kevlar or something in it. it doesn't have to be that and all I did was took a bolt cut a couple of grooves in there placed the retractable reel on one side and then wound the fishing line on the other side so as I unwind the fishing line it tends to wind up the spring loaded reel and then as it goes back the spring loaded reel will pull it back in now I tried just a one uh, pulley with a, a couple of rounds on it and it was just very difficult the, the string would get caught on itself so that's the reason I went with two, I don't know how well you can see that, but I went with two separate uh, grooves, so to speak. And this could be done with plastic, with um, washers, you know, and nuts, well, just about whatever you wanted to do. All I did was drill a little hole in each side, put the string tie knot so that it had a place to anchor to. And for the reel, this was, this was the part I cut off. This was a badge holder. So I just cut that string off, fed it through there. This is one I got free uh, from a drug rep, um, but you can get them online all day long for you know dollar fifty or so a piece. So anyway, that's my string pot. I'm gonna experiment a little bit with it and see if I can streamline it. You can adjust this uh, for as long or as short as you want, and I've also got some other. Uh, key reels that I bought from Harbor Freight that it has about a three foot pull on them. They actually have a thin cable. I think I would change that to string. The, the string makes it much more flexible. But uh, the point is, um, you know, with a, a 10 turn pot and changing the, the ratio of the gears, you could really be about as accurate as you want and get as, as much length uh, as you needed to get full control deflection or full throttle deflection and use um, you know, a, an accurate pot and use the full range of it.